We are here to do your channel messages and what I see for your star sign in each month. Now, if you do like this content, remember to click the bell. And also we do have a brand new edition, which is the Romance Zone. So stay tuned for that. I will be bringing those channel messages with the Tarot live by mid-month. So if you do wish this content ahead of the game, you can join a YouTube membership where I pre-release these a week ahead. Take care and let's have a look at what I see for your zodiac sign this month. Welcome back Scorpio. Happy New Year. Many of you are probably wondering, okay, what is up in January and beyond? And I can say you guys are wrapping up a cycle at this point and January can actually feel like that for you. Um, you may directly feel that you have to get your ducks in a row and there's a lot of things coming up. There's a lot of communication coming in. Um, you're up in your head. Uh, you could actually be bumping into people of the past, but I also see a lot of paperwork involved. Now, there can be some sense of delay that is going on. And some of you especially may be looking at, okay, do I have a vehicle? Do I need to get a new vehicle? Are there repairs going on? So that also can be putting a little bit of a spanner in the works. It's probably not the best time to address those things right away. If you can delay, I would say by the end of the month is probably better. But some of those things can shift at a 180 by that point in the mix. Now, what I do see for your zodiac sign is very important on the wellness factor, very important to, you know, look after your wellness. Um, many of you are looking at what you need to let go of how to redirect, you know, it's a bit like those New Year's resolutions, moving into the new year, um, wanting to let go of certain things. We may be eating foods that are still very heavy, and I do feel that as a potential until we move into about the mid-month section. Um, so if you can, this is a very good time to be very cautious with that, really um, cutting out those things um, those old traditions and patterns of um, eating habits also may need to be addressed. Um, I do feel some of you could be very strict with yourself and it feels as though you're looking at old situations that worked, maybe um, some situations that maybe aren't. Um, I also see your daily routine could be fairly hectic. So, you know, eating on the run, um, doing things to that degree, it could be really getting you out of you know, out of a routine and needing to get back into one. I do potentially feel by mid-month um, you could have a new grounded approach and you could be getting uh, more structure and routine into your life and that really can benefit that area of life for you. I particularly feel especially, um, it does really feel um, from your vibration and getting grounded and being more structured um, is really key, but I do feel some very bold goals that you guys are making moving into 2023. Some of you could have a change of heart. Some of you could have memories of the past, especially relating to loved ones. Um, I do particularly feel um, opinions of other people may be grating you at this point. But, again, I, I do feel it's easing up and I do feel a loved one that's on the other side is actually guiding you through this. But from a spiritual point of view, you may not be tapping into them too well at this point. I do feel they're around you. I do feel they're supporting you. I do particularly feel intensity around contracts um, also is a potential that can be coming out. We're going to dive straight into love because we've got a lot of subjects popping off here psychically and I feel we need to get into some systematic order and that may be psychically what I'm picking for your zodiac sign is that's what you're wanting to do. It's almost like you've got a lot of ducks, in, you know, in the air and you, a ball's in the air and you're like, I need to get my ducks in a row. How do I get myself organised? Um, it could particularly be quite difficult. The one solution I maybe could... Um, um, share as a piece of advice could be really writing down what you need to address, um, especially if you're trying to address so many things in a very short space of time. I'd really suggest maybe clearing the home, getting yourself grounded first, writing a list as to what you want to achieve and ticking one off um, as you go and you're, you're going to feel some sense of movement. Mm. I don't know why I'm feeling delays and I do feel some of you in the area of love, uh, you know, it could be bumping into those blasts from the past, having those deep conversations. There could be changes really that you're wanting to make this year. 
And I do feel any pause, um, be it it's on your side of the fence or theirs, and I don't necessarily feel that it's directly got anything to do with the style of romance but more to do with your direction, um, maybe even with your wealth and the plans that you wish to make this year, I feel there can be some deep reflection on that. Uh, I don't know why I'm seeing paperwork involved. This can be paperwork. It could be looking at um, restructuring. It could be, again, not that I can advise you financially, but you could be refinancing. I do see there can be some projects that are happening around the house. Now, could this be on, on the house? No, it could be on a car. Um, it could be on, yeah, it could, it could be on purchasing. It could be a plan that you have in that area. But I do feel, again, you're going to be very rushed. You're going to have to cram things. Some of you, there could be a little bit of a delay and some of the promises and the things that maybe you thought you were going into could come through by mid-month or they could come through earlier and there could be a sense of confusion. If you were looking for another job, I do particularly feel this could be coming up this month. Now, does it need to be that you're physically leaving it? No. And I do feel this is directly impacting your love sign, um, especially when it comes to your romantic interests. So I do feel be single or couple. This person, um, what you're looking for in a connection, and you could be 50-50. You know, some of you could be saying, look, can I get everything done? Can I be everything to everyone? What are my goals? Where do I sit in the mix of this? Um, and, and you could feel quite burnt out by that. So in some sense and fashion, especially when it does come to libido, it could be very flighty. It could be very hot and cold at this point in time. I do feel there can be some stresses. This could be around debt. This could be around wealth and how to recoup. And I do feel there's a potential of recovery and recuperation. I do feel in the area of love, there is a brand new opportunity. Some of you could bump, especially if you're single, you could fall pregnant. You could bump into this person. Um I do feel, again, family can give you gossip. There's a new chapter coming. And I also feel that there is a potential that you could be making solid decisions or be moving home. Now, does it, it doesn't have to be that you physically move right now, but it can be that you have a revelation and start that chapter. What can that look like? It could look like making that plan and make, getting the savings done, getting paperwork organised, talking to um, professionals in that area. I do feel, however, a decision is made and an emotional revelation in relation to this is almost like we're ready to go. I do feel some of you could hear that a family member is pregnant. I do also feel um, in relation to love, there could be some very difficult conversations that you need to mull over. And some of you could be feeling, gee, I thought we got over this. I thought we moved beyond it. Some of you are actually bringing this up. Others, it does feel it's occurring on the other person's side of the fence. And I do feel you watching and observing. I feel also some of you are going to be willing to be that rat in a cage in a circumstance. But some of you are looking at really having to stretch your schedule and your routine so that you can make time for exercise and play. I do particularly feel you may need to look after your wellness at this point because, A, it's going to show you how to structure um, things, but it, it's, it also can be where things go to extremes. Now, now, how can that look? Too much on your plate, too much stress, quality assuring situations, maybe um, learning how organisation is key to this. Some of you could decide to actually take on a home-based business. I do feel particularly <clears throat> areas around your children, those of you that have children, I do see it smoothing over, especially by mid-month, and there can be a new chapter um, in one of their lives. 
I do see those of you that are on a spiritual path. This month can be quite transformative, especially um, for those of you that follow me that are in spiritual connections. This can be an opportunity in times of blast from the past. This can be reworking things. Some, some of you may be waiting for an old cycle and chapter to kind of do its whole 180, and I do feel this month it's really pushing that point forward um, in each of our lives. I do particularly feel some of you are feeling out of your depth with the circumstance. There is this courage to move forward, but you could be getting a little bit panicked, and my guides are saying to me, Try to not get yourself metaphorically in a in a funk and a freak. You know, try to know that this is divinely guided and you can handle anything that's handed to you and to have the trust in that process. I do feel personally, you know, some of you may be wanting to change your image completely. This can be your hair, your makeup. I'd probably leave that to February. I probably wouldn't make any drastic decisions, you know, things to the degree. And again, I can't guide you medically. Um, but, but really um, long-term procedures, things to that degree that you could avoid, I'd probably leave it to the end of the month, into January, uh, into February rather. I do feel some of you are wanting to get your sexy back and it feels, you know, the libido and the energy, um, how you've been feeling, you, would, you may have felt very hot and cold with that. You may have felt very, how could I put it? lackluster, lack of energy, you know, feeling very fatigued and run down. I do particularly feel that this is going to be changing. Some of you where it does come to your career, I do feel two subjects coming up. A, some of you could be starting home-based businesses and projects. Some of you also could be transitioning careers. Others of you are returning, but it does feel a little bit messy. And I don't know why I'm seeing something to do with superior coming up. I feel be very cautious around that. I do feel some superior may be exiting stage. This could be going into retirement. This could be that they're, um, you know, moving positions. You also may move into that position of rank. But I do see for some of you uh, almost like a reconfiguration of uh, the particular industry that you're currently in. I do feel subjects around your siblings also can be changing. Um, and I don't know why that came up, especially, look, it could be some of you may actually get some advice from this individual relating to a career. I do feel also some of you are connected to an individual of a different culture. Well, could it be the same culture? It could be. Could be the same spiritual beliefs. I do particularly feel in the level of um, upskilling, especially where it does come to career advancement and change. I potentially feel this can be worked, reworked at this point in time. So that could be that you are taking on a higher position. It may be that you are waiting for a contract to be signed and evaluated. I do feel some of you may have trouble this year, but I do feel it relates to career. I also potentially feel around friendship groups. There can be some of those friends from the past coming back. I also feel if you were going to take on a higher role or a larger project, there's a little bit of a delay here. But this delay can be coming through, oh, I would say more clarity will happen by the end of the month, but I still feel don't make any sudden changes. Now, some of you can go from single to couple very quickly. Some of you, there is going to be, and I wouldn't say some of you, all of you are going to have a change vibration both in your body and within a romantic connection. But I also feel uh, to be extremely cautious by the last week of January 2023 into the first two weeks of February, especially where it does come to emotional eating. I do see there's large opportunities here. Um, to gain at a financial level. I don't know why I'm saying there's a method to the madness. Like you do have a project in mind. You do have a goal in mind. Um, you are progressing. For some of you, it can be progressing out of a career into a different one or you're progressing up the ladder. And I do feel it's going to 
require a great deal of discipline and structure and routine to be able to achieve that. But you're going to be able to, um, some of you might be nipping in the butt certain social settings so that you can commit to this process. Now, could this be happening right now? Yes, but it could be coming through over the next few months. So if you are intuitively guided, okay, I need to cut X, Y, and Z out. I need to structure my routine so I can achieve my dreams. I see you doing that, but I also see it's going to be absolutely necessary. I don't know why I'm getting you're going to be very selective. Um, the selectiveness can be, this can be especially for those of you around your children. You can feel, you, you know, due to your commitments in life, um, some situations are out of your hands or you're needing to be more strict and disciplined. This can be especially if there's behavioural situations coming up. But I also feel you from a spiritual point of view are being more strict with yourself where it does come to viewpoints of romance. Um, it feels very adult. It feels very um, like something inside of you spiritually is growing and, that you know, it's almost like we're aware of the inner child but there's also this elevated adult coming out that you're being very realistic i do particularly feel a brand new beginning is coming in and some of you more than likely are picking up on this already although i do see this future tense this is going to be a radical change i definitely see from a wellness point of view you do need to be cautious this month being organized, being systematic, you know, journaling where you get stressed, um, making lists to achieve your deadlines, um, not freaking out, but actually looking at, okay, each item, what it's going to take and what you need to do. <clears throat> I do feel some of you can be joining a gym. I do feel if you're doing such, try to move into it gradually through January, but also make sure that you're very cautious where it does come to strains. I feel somebody's going to, um, something's coming out in the open. Something definitely is coming out in the open. Look, 100%, if you feel a connection is not for you, I do feel some of you could make a major decision. But I also feel this is, you know, how can you actually thrive inside of changing circumstances? I really feel over the last two years we've learned a lot to do with that. And I feel for you as an individual, you're okay with change now. Um, some of you in the initial stages for the first two weeks may feel very anxious, but I do feel there's an excitement here and there can be a progression. Any tips I need to give you? Um, being cautious of your surroundings, making sure that you don't overcommit to circumstances that you feel out of your depth with. Um, being realistic, you know, I almost feel it's really key. Some of you could actually get, you know, pay increases and things to that degree. But is the grind worth the buck? And I feel spiritually a lot of us are going to be looking at that, but you can have very large revelations of how you can achieve that. And some of these can be um, through your own creativity. Um, I do say for some reason some of you could be getting um, money that is due to you. This can look like inheritances. It can look like legacies. Um, and I also see you having to address paperwork where it does pertain to um, owed monies and things. It could be a budget. It could be something as simple as a budget. I also am being shown, um, be careful of who you tell what you have. And I, I feel this is to do with jealousy and I do feel because some of you could be in a better position than what you thought you were going to be. If you do want to come join us for a mid-month edition, we do have that out a week ahead of the crowd in the YouTube membership. I will be also opening these on the podcast and they can be on pre-released also. Love and light, take care, and I will see you throughout the month for our updates online at Yildiz Readings 5 Day.